Now let's start our preview for this month and we've Mildred Pierce, the 1945 film directed by Michael Curtis. This Hungarian-American director was prolific in Hollywood for three decades, bringing us many movies throughout his industrious period. And classics, of course, such as The Charge of the Light Brigade, The Adventures of Robin Hood, The Private Lives of Elizabeth in Essex, Angels with Dirty Faces and Yankee Doodle Dandy, both starring James Cagney. His career apexes with the 1942 Casablanca, to be followed on by Mission to Moscow and leading on to Mildred Pierce in 1945. Now by then he was working for Warner Brothers Studios and cast Joan Crawford as a single mother hell-bent on freeing her children from the stigma of economic hardship. But as Mildred pulls herself up by her bootstraps, first as an unflappable waitress and eventually as the well-heeled owner of a successful restaurant chain, the ingratitude of her materialistic firstborn, that's a diabolical Anne Blythe, becomes a venomous serpent's tooth setting in motion an endless cycle of desperate overtures and heartless recriminations. Recasting James M. Cain's rich psychological novel as a murder mystery, this bitter cocktail of blind parental love and all-American ambition is both unremittingly hard-boiled and sumptuously emotional. The film's based on the novel by James M. Cain and it does differ somewhat from the book in parts. The novel spans nine years from 1931 to 1940, where the film is set from 1939 to the 40s and spans only four years. Its characters don't age as a consequence. Mildred's physical appearance doesn't change, although her costumes become more elegant as her business grows. Vida ages from around 13 to 17 and Mildred is more of a tycoon in the film. Her restaurants are glamorous places and she owns a whole chain, Mildred's, instead of the novel's three. Evil spoiled Vida, who is prodigiously talented and brilliantly devious in the novel, is somewhat less formidable in the film. And all references to the Depression and the Prohibition era, which are important in the novel, are completely absent from the screenplay. Now the working title for Mildred Pierce was House on the Sand and filming began in December 7th, 1944. Ralph Bellamy, Donald Woods and George Coloris were considered for the role of Bert while Bonita Granville, Virginia Weidler and Martha Vickers were considered for the role of Vida. Scenes for the film were shot in Glendale in Malibu, California and permission had been to be granted from the US Navy to shoot in Malibu because of wartime restrictions. Now in 1942, two years earlier, Joan Crawford had been released from MGM due to a mutual agreement and Crawford campaigned vigorously for the lead role in Mildred Pierce, which most lead actresses didn't want because the implied age of a, of a mother of a teenage daughter. Warner Brothers and director Michael Curtis originally wanted Betty Davis to play the title role, but she declined. Joan Crawford was absolutely the right choice for the character and she went on to win the Best Actress Oscar of course in the Academy Awards and this served to revitalise her career at this point. But unfortunately she never really attained the same heights thereafter with her later films sadly. Now the cast in Mildred Pierce consists of Joan Crawford in the title role, Jack Carson as Wally Fay, Zachary Scott as Monty Burrell gone, Eve Arden as Ida Corwin, Anne Blythe as Vida Pierce Forrester, Bruce Bennett as Albert Burt Pierce, Lee Patrick as Mrs Maggie Biederhoff, Moroni Olsen as Inspector Peterson, Vida Anne Borg as Miriam Ellis, Joe Anne Morrow as Kay Pierce. Criterion brings this iconic film to 4K UHD Blu-ray and there are two discs, a 4K UHD of course containing the film and a Blu-ray with the film and the following special features. Conversation with critics Molly Haskell and Robert Polito. Excerpt from a 1970 episode of The David Frost Show featuring actor Joan Crawford. Q&A with actor Anne Blythe from 2006 presented by filmmaker Mark Huistis and conducted by film historian Eddie Muller. Segment from a 1969 episode of The Today Show featuring Mildred Pierce novelist James M. Cain. There's a trailer and an essay by the critic Imogen Sarah Smith and cover art is from the original Blu-ray and it's by Sean Phillips. Now this film has also entered popular culture. The 1981 film Mommy Dearest starring Faye Dunaway mentions the screen test that Crawford did and a rehearsal scene at her home for the film. A portrayal of her at home during the Academy Awards radio broadcast announcing the winners 
and her acceptance speech, which she did outside her home for a team of reporters. In television, in 1976, in the ninth episode of the tenth season of The Carol Burnett Show, it featured a takeoff of the film called Mildred Fierce, with Carol Burnett as Mildred, Vicky Lawrence as Vida, and Harvey Corman as Monte. And in the third episode of the television show The Deuce, the principal is all, Darlene watches Mildred Pierce with one of her regulars. In music, the eighth track on the 1990 album Goo by alternative rock band Sonic Youth is an instrumental entitled Mildred Pierce. And finally, Kate Winslet also played the role of Mildred Pierce in the HBO miniseries consisting of five episodes, and that aired in 2011. And this version also restored some of the elements featured in the novel, as it had a longer time span in which to unfold the narrative. Mildred Pierce has a running time of 111 minutes, and it already exists in the collection on Blu-ray, A Spine 860.